Hi, I'm John Olden, and welcome to Earth. We're starting off here in Calgary, in Alberta, Canada. Here, the oil and gas industry is the bedrock of energy production in North America, as long as there's plenty of clean water to recover that oil. But today, new technology is revolutionizing water treatment, so that we're not only able to, well, reuse that water, but also recover valuable minerals at the same time. Let's take a look. The beauty of the Canadian wilderness is not only what lies above, but also below in the massive energy field of its oil and gas reserves, such as the heavy oil production in the Canadian oil sands. In our Canadian oil sands, we have the third largest proven energy reserve on the planet. So as of 2016, we have 165 billion barrels of oil. But we think this proven reserve is going to be a large part of the energy solution in the future. The, of course, the challenge is, as always, is not only to produce it economically, but produce it in a way that is aligned with Canadian values, which is preservation of wild spaces. You know, we take that very seriously as Canadians. But whether the industry is oil, paper, or food production, a huge amount of water and steam is needed for production. Today, one of the largest sources of energy loss globally is in the cooling of water for treatment and reuse in power and steam generation for production. Well, in Alberta here, we produce about two and a half million barrels of oil a day out of the oil sands. And for every barrel at this point, uh, heating water into steam is an intricate part of the extraction process. Any technology that can allow us to use less water and less energy input hits that sweet spot of not only decreasing our environmental footprint, but also decreasing the cost structure for these companies. And it's not just the reuse of water that is needed to recover these important resources. Valuable minerals are also at stake, like lithium, the main element in batteries for today's electric-powered vehicles. The global demand for lithium is expected to triple over the next decade. Well, lithium is at the heart of the transition from fossil fuel to electric power vehicles. And our access to lithium is constrained by conventional technologies and resources. A brine return from hydrocarbon production offers a vast resource for lithium. However, it has been untapped because of technology constraints. The answer may lie in new filtration technology that is revolutionizing water and wastewater treatment, and also aiding in the recovery of precious minerals like lithium at the same time. Well, it's exceedingly exciting because the, the water traditionally has been considered a, a liability and a waste something that had to be dealt with at a cost. Now it's actually a resource, similar to oil. Some have likened it to the new gold or the new liquid gold replacing oil is that these minerals that exist underground, particularly things like lithium and vanadium, could be used to power the new energy uh, for, for North America, for the world. Here at its laboratory and research facility in Calgary, Alberta, Pure Lucid Treatment Solutions is designing and fabricating systems to deploy in several major markets across the United States. Projects that they say will make the U.S. a major producer of lithium, while making unconventional oil production much less water intensive. What we're able to do is not only treat that water, turning it from a, a, a large liability into a much smaller one by treating that water at low cost, low energy intensity, but we can also recover these uh, minerals from that water, making it a resource. This is incredibly uh, attractive and exciting. And the name of its revolutionary new technology? Nanoflotation, a low energy water treatment for steam and heavy oil recovery that allows high temperature water treatment at 10 to 30 times the efficiency of today's ultra filtration systems. This technology is incredibly revolutionary to the water treatment market because it, uh, it, it advanced the efficiency of ultrafiltration systems, for example, uh, and flotation systems, but ultrafiltration systems particularly, 30-fold in one, one technology development. That's, this, that sort of thing doesn't happen 
regularly in technology development. They're incremental, you get 20% improvements. Not 30-fold improvements, is what we now have. This is, this is remarkable because it really unlocks an ability to efficiently handle and treat water and go after those minerals like lithium. So we have a very formal aspiration for our sector and that is to try to find ways to produce value out of waste. So any technology that can do that, that's the sweet spot. That's really the holy grail of what we're after. It's no wonder this new technology was a 2017 finalist for the most disruptive technology in the world. It's technology that can help both reduce greenhouse gas emissions and help Alberta transition to a lower carbon future, paving the way for cleaner, more sustainable energy sources. I'm John Holden. Thanks for watching.